Alright, hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy the Duelist. Alright, after the pack openings last time, I've officially finished my uh, main decks here. And we're going to be going through into the next part of the storyline. I wish entrusted. Uh, we'll use a user deck here. Ooh, and I did upgrade. One of the decks I've upgraded is Medulce, and I do believe it is my most powerful deck now. I just have to make sure it... Uh... Alright, Claymaker versus Bowman. This might just be me, but I'm not as big a fan of Bowman as I was of Lightning. Then again, that seems to be the common consensus, so... Let's see how it goes. <gasps> Here we are. This is one of the new cards. Medulce Potencior. Medulce Potencior. If this card in your possession is destroyed by the opponent card and sent to your graveyard, shuffle this card in the deck. You can only use each of the following once per turn. There's a lot of text here. If you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summon, you can special summon a multi from your hand or deck, except Potosia. If you do, reduce its level by one, and also you cannot special summon monsters for the remainder of this turn, except for Medulce monsters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do, do. <laughs> Alright, we're going to activate her effect. Since I have no monsters in my graveyard, I can special summon her immediately. And now I can use her effect to special summon a card from my deck. But its effects are... But its lo level is lowered. Medulce and Jelly. Middleche Mufel. Genix Searcher. Alright, activate Middleche Mufel. I can special summon a Middleche from my hand. I select Messenger Lotto. Messenger Lotto's effect is that if he's special summoned while I have a Middleche Beast out, I can spell, search for one spell or trap card. I choose Middleche Chateau, the feel spell. Alright, I can put down Tea Break and Knights here. I activate Middleche Chateau. There we go. Now I'm going to activate Angeli's effect to tribute herself and special summon a monster from my deck. I'm gonna go. I need something level four. Let's go with Magellan because I need to go into an Xyz play in a bit. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one Gen X monster in face up attack position. Yeah, you'll see what I want to do in just a moment here. Alright, attack his monster, destroy it. You can now special summon a monster. Gen X Controller, that is a normal monster. Alright, we're going to main phase 2 and we're going to immediately start making our plays. First things first, special summon. You might see a new face here. And here we are. Medulce Teacher Glass Souffle. Here we go. Alright. Quick effect. Note that she has a quick effect. You can detach one material, then target one Medulce monster on the field. This turn, this mo that monster is unaffected by all monster effects except for its own. And if a Medulce card is sent from your graveyard to your graveyard while this field is on the field, you can shuffle up to two cards from the graveyard. So no, this says any graveyard, not specifically mine. You can only use these effects once per turn. So basically, uh, Glass Souffle here is the main protection for monsters here. Meanwhile, special summon, Medulce Fresh Cyst Heart. The Link Monster protects the spell and traps. Uh, you know what? Let's use her effect. And we're gonna send these two back into his deck so that he cannot use them as resources. And in turn. There we go, Bowman. You're 
What are you gonna do now that your graveyard setup is all gone? It's hard to believe just a couple cards have completely... He uh, upgraded the middle chase playstyle. The only thing to be careful is, is you, as you can see, Midolce Glass Souffle is much more defensive than offensive. She has a decent attack stat now, but... I don't know if he has any 2k defenders, so we'll have Glass Souffle attack first. Nope, that's just Mystic Tomato. Escape Ghost. Flip, you can specialize number of black sheep tokens. I think Bowman might have actually gotten a pretty terrible opening hand. Now he's a dark type, but the middle chase is all universally earth type. Alright. Activate middle chase glass souffle's effect. By, by sending an overlay unit to the graveyard, I can protect her from all monster effects except for her own. And this also means she's immune to Catastr- Ally of Justice Catastr's effect where he destroys anything that's not a dark type. Uh, no, that doesn't help, unfortunately. I have to hope this works. Yeah, it works. She's immune to his effect. Excellent. Yeah, Ally of Justice Catastr is actually- is- I believe he's the only really good Ally of Justice card. Because he can destroy anything that's not a dark monster, and because my monster was all Earth, well, rough time for me. <laughs> if not for Glass Souffle protecting herself and others. Alright, we're gonna activate Hoot Cake's effect. By banishing a monster from my graveyard, I can special summon a card from my deck. Also note that my Dolce Petitniciar activate your effect. Yeah, I can now special summon another one at the cost that its levels lowered. We're gonna go with Pudding Sess. We can also go into Queen Tiara Masu this way. Oh yeah, and for the record, Milche Tea Break and Milche Knights both have an additional effect if I have Milche Pudding Sess out. Let's, but, let's see here. I think that also applies to Pudding Sess Chocolate La Mode. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, Pudding Sess. Oh, but uh, Midolce Ticket only requires that I have a Midolce Fairy-type monster out, which is all the Xyz monsters, as well as uh, Pudding Cess and Pegasia. How do we pronounce that one? There we go. And finish him off, Glass Souffle. I am loving this deck. <laughs> Go, go, Roboppy. I genuinely- Oh, crap. This is against Ghost Girl. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna have to filter that to user decks. My Akashis have also gotten a significant upgrade now that they have their main boss- Their biggest boss monster. The Link 4 monster. Roboppy. <laughs> Ghost Gal. Sheesh, hard to believe Ghost Girl actually has a pretty poor win rate in the anime. She... Her deck is an absolute, an absolute pain to have to deal with. I'm gonna be blunt here. Mm. 
Activate effect. Activate effect. By banishing him, I can bring out... Uh, Unizombie? It's by one. No, I should just get the Spectral Sword. I could go into a level six immediately. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have much I can do right now. I didn't have the best opening hand, I'm afraid. Altergeist Protocol. I cannot negate their effects. Oh, lovely. She can get as many of those as she feels like, doesn't she? She's going to Link Monster Zone now. Altergeist Ragviron. Come on, I need something else. Sufficient. Activate Hajun, the winged Mayakashi. I special summon Daki, the graceful Mayakashi, from my deck. Unless she whips out Treacherous Trap Hole or something, I should be fine to continue my combo here. Alright, first we're gonna go with Obero Garuma, the wheeled Mayakashi. Alright, climbing the ladder. Oh, the dog needs out. Uh, give me just one moment, please. Alright, I'll need to be let back in in a few minutes, but for the moment, we can now continue up the Mayakashi ladder. Now, Mayakashis are probably my favorite deck, period, right now. It's a bit tough since Midolchis have really earned their... Uh, love, but for the moment, I'm, but I really do like the Synchro Ladder and the fact they have a decent toolbox. It's just that they have so many weaknesses that even my other decks don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, unfortunately, I had to really uh, manage the extra deck space in here because my Kashi's taken off a lot. I mean, the ladder itself is five synchro monsters, then they have two link monsters. Book of Life. Alright, we're gonna special summon something here. You know what, I need Tengu to uh, just get rid of that back row there. Let's see here. I need to banish her Altergeists in order to keep her from resummoning them, but at the same time, this one can be... Monster from your hand. Actually, you know what I think? Yeah, Marionator needs to be banished. Activate the effect of Tengu, the winged Mayakashi, Altergeist Protocol. Activate Tungumo, the poisonous Mayakashi's effect. By banishing a card from my graveyard, I can special summon him and activate his effect. We both mill the top three cards of our deck. <sighs> Yay. 
isn't that strong, unfortunately. Let me see here. Yukiona, the Ice Maikashi. You can only... While this monster syn points out Synchro Monster, the opponent cannot target this card for attacks. If Synchro Monster is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, you can target one monster and have its current stats. This is okay, but not amazing. But let's do it, just so that we have some form of protection. Yukiona, the Ice Mayakashi. To activate Doki's effect. Oh, the dog's back. Give me just one moment, please. They're sorry about that, but they should be set for the remainder of the night. Hmm. There's one play here, but do I want to do it? Let's do it. Monster Reborn. And we're gonna bring back Tengu again. It's only a hard once per turn, so I can't do that, but I can do this. Special summon. Treat her as two materials, please. Yes. Here we go. Yukiona, the absolute zero Mayakashi. I probably should have gone to the battle phase first, but oh well. Daki. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with this. We don't need to use her effect yet. There we go. Yeah, this is fine. I could use this to draw a card, but I think Ghost Gal's attack stats are going to be just high enough to attack over Gashidakuro if I don't use Winter. Because her Hex Hexostia can easily get 3100 to 3500, depending on what kind of combo she does. <gasps> Altergeist Manifestation. Absolute Zero Mayakashi. Negate it. Oops. <laughs> Alright, activate effect. Send both these out so I can draw a card. I can place these here. Shiranui Samurai. I activate his effect by banishing one monster from my graveyard. I can make his attack go a bit higher, and also any monster attacks are banished. There we go. Phantom Beast. It's banished. Now, attack for the win, Gashuk de Koro. There we are. Unbreakable Spirit. Now this one I do want to go with a story deck, because I'm pretty sure I know who this is, and this is going to be a fun one. Yep. We are playing as I. We have entered the final season, where I attempts his grand scheme. Unfortunately, the season was cut short, which is really awful, honestly. Do-do-do-do. Gookie suplex. Do -do 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 -do. Bear hug. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's place a drowning mirror force here. At Ignister. Mm -hmm. This is a normal special summon. You can add one spell trap from your deck. And 
Now you can target one ad ignister, becomes level 4. If you control an ad ignister, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can tribute one other Cybers monster, add one level 5 to your hand. If you do, card is 4. And if, then if you tribute it, a link somewhere to activate this effect, you can add one AI's ritual. Ram Clouder. Cybers Gadget. Activate the Curry at Ignister. Ignister AI Land. We'll go ahead and activate that. I see no reason not to. You can control no monsters, the main monsters, and you can summon one from your hand. With the rest of the turn, you can't special summon with the same attribute. Also, you can't special summon others except Cybers, even if this card leaves the field. I can activate this effect to special summon from the hand. Let's show the card list. I know he should have an Xyz monster. Oh no, only fusions. How disappointing. I don't have an ad ignister from my hand. Oh well. Let's see here. Do I, what's my look? Three again. Decode talker. Gicky break. Oh, balls. Yeah, got my only defense. Darn it. Either I got a really terrible opening hand, or I'm just not good at the stack. Yeah, let's forget it. Link summon to Freebird Monster Nodes and special summon with Ignister AI. Now let's just stick to the user deck. We're gonna go with more muddle chase. Wow, I got absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, all Gokis have an effect where they go to- they search out a new card if they go to the graveyard. Might as well let it for now. up. Oh, come on, are you serious? 
I don't have a single monster. Man, I got a horrible hand. Nothing stops him from just playing it again. It's not a hard or a soft once per turn. Okay, and jelly. Get her back in my hand. Add to my hand. Unfortunately, I don't have enough health to survive this. I drew no monsters until the end. And will you stop that? I know why it asks if it wants me to destroy my own cards, because if, say, I was playing Fire Kings, I actually would want to destroy my own field spell in the right situation. Dang it, I was talking so good about this deck, and then I screw myself. How embarrassing. Still, I do believe it does have all the tools necessary to defeat everything we the game is throwing at me at the end here. I just have to be smart about it. Terraforming. And I get a middle chase chateau into my hand. Middle chase Magdalene, activate her effect. I'm going to get a middle chase putting Sior into my hand. This is gonna hurt like hell. I have to survive this turn, though. Alright, I'm gonna lower his attack points so that he crashes into her. Alright, we'll use Chateau to get her back in my hand, sure. Ow. Activate Middle Chain You Fell's effect. Alright, we need a level 4 for this, yeah. Alright, we're gonna activate putting CR's effect. I can special summon her from my hand because I have no monsters in my graveyard. And then by using her effect, I can grab... I can special summon from my deck at the cost that it will not 
it'll have us level lower by one. So we're gonna bring out Middleche Angeli. Next, I get to use Middleche Angeli's effect in order to tribute herself, and I will summon Hootcake from my deck. And with Hootcake out, I can activate his effect in order to banish Angeli from my graveyard and special summon Messenger Lotto. <laughs> Alright, and because your special summon while a beast is out, I can use his effect to search out a card from my deck. And let's see here, Middle Shade Ticket. Here we are, perfect. Middle Shade Ticket, activate. Alright, now we do absolutely need to go into. Wait, what's. Is there any Middle Shade cards in here? There is not. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Actually, I can do this right away. First, Middleche Fresh Sistart. Fresh Sistart. Next up, Queen Tiara Masu. I Xyz summon two little fours to make a rank four Queen Tiara Masu. Now I can use Tiara Masu's effect. By using up an overlay unit, I can send up to two cards, Middleche cards, back into my deck, and then shuffle two of his cards back into his deck. Oh yeah, and I can use Chateau to get them back as well. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, Chateau to get these back into my hand, if you please. And we're going to choose his monsters so that he can't get his recovery effect out of them. And Middleche tickets activated. I do not need that, but it will allow me to special summon a monster to the field, yes. And let's go with the uh, Middleche Pudding Sass. Alright. Battle phase time. We should be able to take him out this turn if he has no defenses. Call of the Haunted Ob balls it'll J fresh to start yes I'm gonna take a little bit of damage but I can shuffle the last card here back into my deck and yeah we'll use chateau to get it back into my hand Activate Middle J putting his effect to destroy whatever this is. He does still unfortunately get a search back. Chained. Oh crap. He gets another one. This is gonna be a problem if I can't get rid of it now. Use Middle J Chateau to get her back into my hand if you please. Yes, thank you. Now let's attack directly. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, he actually has nothing. Let's go hurry up and win this then. There we go. Eyes conundrum. I'm gonna try the story deck again just to see if I can do something better. Blue Maiden. Actually, I probably should have gone first because of Trick Stars, but oh well. Alright. Blue Maiden. Oh, Graceful Charity. Alright, let's place this here and activate Graceful Charity. Virtual Cyber, so you can special summon this card from your hand. 
graveyard, inspection and gate, discard center for the field of the graveyard, special summon and gate. Um, I guess these two are fine. Torrental tribute. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. See if this card is normal, special summon from your deck to your hand. Start damage up into battles. You can banish this card, destroy that monster control. Activate this one per turn. Balancer. Let's see here. We can pay a thousand life points in your main phase. You can turn summon one monster. Industrial normal sunset. So I guess this wouldn't be too bad. Mm -mm. Both got full extra decks though. Let me see here. Ah, huh, weird. Didn't he use an Xyz monster against her? Oh well, I guess I can't do anything else now. Yay for me. My princess Mandarin. Call the haunted to bring back uh, the eighteen hundred attacker can actually prevent her from being able to fight. Activate a chi chi at Ignister. Activate effect in order to special summon itself. Special summon. There we go. Proxy dragon. And now we can sacrifice that to go for Decode Talker. Decode Talker. Battles, you can bash this card, destroy that monster you control. I'm not gonna do that. But I will be attacking directly for a nice 20 under damage. Or Drowning Mirror Force could ruin my life. Not gonna lie, I'm extremely tempted to just surrender because I don't think I have an easy way of recovering. That just took all my resources to perform and it didn't even save me anything. I don't mind Link monsters, but I think Link 1 monsters were a bad idea. Usually when you summon something, it costs you at least some resource, but it's a 1 for 1 is basically very little. Target 1 Cybers monster, you control Banish, and if you do add 1, his attack is lower. Fine, we'll pay the 1,000 life points to get this back. Activate Cybers Gadgets effect. Do 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 do
Uh, yeah, let's add one more. Oh, it's negated, right. Well, the problem is if she has another Drowning Mirror Force, I'm screwed, so let's destroy this and attack directly. Banish all defense position monsters. I'm genuinely not certain what the goal is behind that card. I mean, I guess it worked in this specific instance, so I guess I can't complain too much, but... Really. Cybers, if you do add one Cybers monster's attack is lower than their initial attack. Turn that monster the fan by his attack directly. You can only activate one sign at back door per turn. Alright, so she's probably going to make another Link 1 attack gadget. I'll banish him when she does that so that she's forced to attack into Balancer Lord. Or. Uh, yeah, let's do this. With less attack power than that. Okay, here we are. Let's bring him, yeah. During my next standby phase, it comes back. This card's banished. You can special summon one for a lower monster from your hand. Ritual Summon. Unfortunately, I cannot Ritual Summon at the moment. I can just summon it normally here. No reason not to. And we're going to go straight into Decode Talker. I really do like this animation, but playing it too many times in a duel might get a bit slow. Activate Cyber's Gadget's effect. A token. Token. Activate. Sacrifice the token to get ourselves a Link Monster. Battle phase time. Can 1000 go over that? No, it cannot. Attack your opponent directly. Yes, please. Tribe infecting virus. Declare one type to destroy all face of monsters of that type. I'm pretty sure that is a banned card in the main card game. And I'm pretty sure for good reason. Now let's see a water leviathan at Ignister. One thing I will give Reigns is that they have actually have a decent amount of ritual support. Holy balls, yet another one. Fishborg Planter. Attack directly. Attack directly. There we are. Ah, she's so close. And she could pull up anime moment where she draws the exact card she needs to turn this duel around. The Code Talker has no protection, so his high attack means basically nothing. Going to a Link 1 again. Marincess Blue Slug. This is used to ritual summon any cybers ritual monster. See, when this is ritual summon, you control all your opponent's monster opponent control with two thousand less or less attack to the hand. Ooh. Alright, let's do this. Eyes ritual. And we're gonna summon use sacrifice the other one to summon it. Alright. And on summon it returns all cards with Activate Water Leviathan's effect. Torrental Tribute. She has two Trental Tributes, didn't she? We'll see in just a moment, but she can easily get a Link 2 with no difficulty whatsoever.
Yeah, she get the got the exact card she needed to make the turn around. Marbled rock. Yeah, that's two torrential tributes. She has a lot of battle traps. Damn it, we lose. Well, at least I have- I can set up my defenses just fine. Oh, excellent. This is actually a rather good opening hand. Alright, Hajun, the winged Mayakashi. Activate his effect in order to get Daki from my deck. I also took out Shafu since I don't really need him anymore. He was basically just doing a similar role to Yuki Masumi here. Now that I have uh, Yuki Masumi from the uh, Varus pack, I don't need anything else. I don't need any substitutes, I mean. Oops, I do need to bring out the Link Monster, but not quite yet. Climb the ladder. Unfortunately, Mayakashi's are a deck where it does take a bit of time, for better or worse. Activate effect. Yukimasumi can special summon herself as long as I have a Mayakashi on my field, and I send one card to the graveyard. And what do you know, this is just enough material for Yuki Ona, the Ice Mayakashi. Uh, she's gonna have to protect my life points, which is gonna... It's a good thing that Blue Maiden does not have any piercing effects, because like most zombie archetypes, my gosh, she's not exactly known for their defense. Well, I guess a few of them do, but... Alright, I've got a decent board, I like to think. If you want to destroy Daki, this was set. All of the on this column are negated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yuki Masumi. Alright, I can special summon her at the cost of sending a card to my graveyard. And I don't want to draw into the tuners, so let's go ahead and send them. My Akashi return. Alright, we're gonna get Hajun into my hand. Alright, we're going to get Daki out here. Negate that monster's effects, and everything in this row is negated. It's negated. Excellent. I knew infinite impermanence would really pay off. I guess she saw that I was about to do the ladder again, and she was all, Oh shit, I don't want to have to go through that again. Well, rest assured, I'm going to OTK her this turn, so you won't have to... Anyone watching who thinks this is going to take a while, uh, this is the last time it's going to happen. Remember, I can only control one of every Mayakashi, so Gashidakuro has to stay right where he is. I can't get another. more that I can go into the absolute zero Mayakashi. Alright, here we go. Counter has two materials. Then use the level two and level one here. Here we go. Yukiona, the absolute zero Mayakashi. And we're gonna revive Ga Daki one last time. This should, keyword should, be just enough damage. If I did the math right, this should be lethal. And there we go. Yuki, bring us home. There we go. Ooh, we can now get uh, Eyes Booster Pack. I believe this is the last one I can unlock in general, so I officially have all cards the game can offer me as soon as I farm up the material. Robopi's Dream. I'm not a big fan of Soul Burner's deck, so we're going to go with Medulce again. Robopi. Mm 
Morphtronic slingin. We're gonna set this. Set this. Alright, Medulce Magellene. And we're going to use her effect to search out Medulce Mufel. Alright, we're going to use uh, Medulce Petting Sear. Petting Sear. Petting Sear. Petting Sear. I only know some of these French terms, so I apologize for messing up. I can special summon from my deck, but its level's lowered. We're going to go with Angeli. Alright, we're going to have Angeli tribute herself in order to special summon... Bootcake! I activate Hoot Cake's effect. By banishing Angeli from my graveyard, I can special summon a card from a monster from my deck, and I select Messengelato. Since Messengelato was special summoned while a Medulce Beast monster is here, I can search out a Spell Trap from my deck, and I select the field card, Medulce Chateau. Medulce Petitier. I'll have to look up how that's pronounced later, I guess. Battle phase. Alright, first things first. I actually think we want to go into Teach Glass Souffle. And we're going to go into Medulce Fresh Sistart to protect my back row. Actually, I probably should consider sending Boppy's card back to... Then again, it looks like he's using Morphtronics. I think because he also has a deck that was anime only. So they had to make do with what they had. Smartphone! Morphtronic Accelerator! Uh, we're gonna activate Forbidden Lance to protect her. Unfor because Teacher Glass Souffle's effect only protects herself from monster effects. Angeli. We shall activate Angeli's effect and tribute herself. And we'll summon Petusie from my deck. Petusie can. I can't special summon her from my hand since I have monsters in my graveyard, but I can use her effect to special summon a, a monster from my deck that will then be lowered in level. 
Now, I could do a longer combo, but I'm just going to do the shorter one. Summon the Pudding Sess. And we're going to go into Queen Tiara Masu. Activate Tiara Masu's effect by sending this card overlay unit to the graveyard. I can recycle two cards back into my deck and shuffle two cards from Robopi's side of the field to the deck. I don't need to do any long combos here because I'm going to be doing this. And we win. Back to the beginning. I think sticking to Midolce would be within my best interests. Varus. Dragon Shrine. What the, wait, what? Uh, let me check something here. Serpent Night Dragon. That is a normal monster. Well, first things first, terraforming. We're gonna get ourselves a field spell. Activate the field spell. Activate Medolce Ticket. Activate Medolce Mufel. Activate its effect to summon Medolce Angeli. Activate Angeli's effect to tribute yourself and summon a monster from my deck, and I'm going to choose Hoot Cake. Next, I activate Hoot Cake's effect. By banishing Angeli from my graveyard, I can special summon a monster from my deck, and I'm choosing a Medolce Petosier. Because Batusier was special summoned, I can use her effect to special summon one card from my graveyard, from my deck, but at lower, at a lower level. Okay, if I actually want to do an Xyz summon, I'll need to do this. I'm gonna go to attack now, battle phase. Oh dear. This was a little painful. Uh, not for pudding sess. Don't put her. Let her go back to the deck. Do ca. Bring her to my hand. Boot cake. Tell my hand. Mufel. To my hand. Card from my deck to my hand. I guess the other end, Jelly, would be good. Alright, this is rather annoying, but Varus can only have so many of those. I guess I should have known better. I should have just. Uh, what is he doing? Pretty much all of his monsters search upon deck destruction, so mm -hmm. I can tell you what I'm going to do, that's for sure. Activate Middle J. Mufel. Special summon, Angeli. Putusier. 
activate her effect to summon from my deck. Pudding Sess. Alright, tribute and jelly in order to summon Hoot Cake. Actually, I should probably go with Messenger Lotto. Because I, this way I can get a. Use his effect in order to get Middle Chain Knights into my hand. Here we are. No, I want Tea Break, yeah, probably. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Queen Tiara Masu. Queen Tiara Masu. Activate her effect. By using an overlay unit, I can send up to two cards from my graveyard of the deck to shuffle two more into Varus's deck. Yeah, can you toe on that? No, I can let that go in my deck. And we're gonna send both monsters. Special summon a monster to the field, yes please. We're going to go into a uh, fresh to start. I can also go into, let's see here, what does she do if I have a. Yeah, if I have Madolce put, put Sess as material. Okay, I have Madolce putting Sess as material if I do this. Then when we sure if we can attach one material, special summon Madolce from your deck attack position. This is extremely dangerous, but I'm gonna do it. She can use her effect, after all. Alright, putting Cess Chocolate on the mode. Once per turn, you can target one Metal Chick car and shuffle to the deck. Alright, overlay, but special summon a monster in attack position or face down defense. Alright, we'll send this back into my deck. No, I won't use Chateau's effect. Activate putting Cessala Mode's effect. Alright, special summon from my deck. Uh, we'll go with another Messenger Lotto since he has the highest attack. There we go. All right, here we go. Two. Twenty-one. Four. Six. And there we go. Took him out. Separate ways. Oh, great! Now I'm thinking of the song by Journey. But this is the final boss fight. I'm gonna stick to my own deck because he's not gonna be holding back. I'm sure we'll go with the Sky Fangs. Paleozoic. I absolutely want to go second with this deck. Because the goal of this deck is basically to clear out the enemy stuff, get a big Link play going, and obliterate him in one turn. If it goes more than one turn, I can tell you right now, it's, uh, it's not going well for me. Mm 
One time passcode. <laughs> He's definitely gonna go into a link play. End play phase, oh dear. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're basically gonna be special summoning everything, so here we go. <laughs> Activate Beats effect. No, it needs to be a new monster. Uh, another monster. Ooh, Dina. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna bring out Rafale here. Beast Tongue. No. Activate Rafale's effect, however, yeah. I can now excavate the top few cards of my deck and uh, add one to my hand. I have the feeling I'm going to want to get Ghost Ogre. Yeah, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Alright, full go. Warrior, Aqua, Beast. There we go. When summoned, I can activate full go's effect to summon a card from my deck. I can summon any special summon a monster from my deck in defense mode as long as it was not one used to summon him. Philo. I can special summon a monster from my graveyard, but it will be banished when it leaves the field. Don't activate Bravo's effect yet, please. Now, activate Bravo's effect to summon Dinah. Activate Dinah's effect. I can banish cards from the enemies. So, activate Bravo. Yes, now activate Bravo's effect, please. Now I can banish cards from the opponent's graveyard up to the amount of number of for higher monsters I control. So now he doesn't have any resources. I can place this for now. Special summon. Nightmare. Discard one card, special summon monster, and destroy it. Uh, this and Philo. Activate the effect of Nightmare Cerberus. By discarding a card, I can destroy a special summon monster, namely the one-time password. I can also activate Fulgo's effect to draw three more cards. I'll go ahead and activate, put the, place this down while I can then. And here we go, it's time. Fulgo, destroy the Balancer Lord. Dinah, destroy Clock Wyvern. Nightmare Cerberus, attack directly. Fulgo attack. No, Rafale. Rafale attack directly and win us the duel. <laughs> Into the brains. Achievement earned. Excellent. <laughs> Well, we've officially completed the whole thing. And the campaign is almost complete as well. Now, let's see here. Noise Angel, a storm is coming. Oh, 
I like Varus' new outfit better than his older one, really. Ghost Girl. I absolutely want to play as Ghost Girl because her deck was so frustrating, I want to have an easy time making the enemy frustrated. Darn it, he knows my weakness. Because she's so. Altergeist is so back row heavy, they have to go second. Breaker. And we're gonna use his spell counter effect to destroy whatever this is. Dragon's Rebirth. Oh, lovely. Alright, he's probably gonna go with a Link play. Or not. I'm gonna let him destroy that so I can get out the other one. I'm gonna wait until he does his Link or Synchro play and then Compulsory Evacuation Device that. Bottomless trap hole. Banish it. if he's normal summoned. But I can at least attack over this thing. There we are. Altergeist Manifestation. Try going Altergeist Special Summon if you do equip it. Okay, this is just an archetypal monster born. Now I can Special Summon something specific. Let's see. Altergeists. A tad annoying. Now watch as that's another 2k wall. Oh, it's not. He really doesn't want to go into a link, does he? Oh, come on. No Altergeists got milled by that? And of course, he wants to make a bigger and bigger wall. Okay, he's tribute summoning. Mm -hmm. 
There we are. We sent his tribute monster back to the hand. So now he's screwed. Graceful charity. Time for some direct attacks. Well, I'm grateful for the new music the game has. It's actually not bad either. It's pretty ambient. Now what's this do? If the, when this card leaves the field, for bash his card target when alter geist trap, but you can only use this once per turn. Altergeist Protocol. There we are. Time to set these two. Don't watch that be a drowning mirror force, something silly like that. Nope. There we are. Break of the Magical Warrior was the true MVP all along. Do 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 Yeah, I'm gonna use the Alter Geists to make the CPU suffer as I did. It's actually a pretty interesting deck, but it's still basically one of those set back row and pass. Oh wait, I need to go first. Whoops. Oh well. It's not a huge deal, but it would greatly benefit me if I had remembered to go first. Especially with a hand like this, oh my. Synchro monsters. Okay, that I can make that. Oh wait, it's a tuner. That's why. Okay, that's why you can make them all one to three. Okay, that makes sense. Set an alter guide trap directly to your spell and trap zone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's check out the uh, link two and three here then. Alright, gain stack equal to attack of all altergeist points too. When a spell or trap card is activated, you contribute to monsters points to negate the activation. If you do destroy that card, if this card sent the field of graveyard act. Alright. And Prime Banshee. Someone one altergeist from your deck to your zone, this card points to if this card sent the field of graveyard, you can target one altergeist added to your hand. Only use the He has to waste his normal summon on that. your hand. Link three. will make this stop bugging me. Alright, we'll banish this one in order to get another one back into my hand. Marionetter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Alright, send this to the graveyard in exchange. We can now special summon the this other link monster here back. There we go. <laughs> Tribute one monster this points to and negate the activation. <laughs> Activate Prime Banshee's effect. Alright, what does this do again? Alright. This card's in the graveyard. Can I add one? graveyard add to your hand? Looks like he gave up. Alright, which can I go into here? A Synchro. TG Hyper Librarian. We're gonna go with this then. Not sure why she has Tech Genus Hyper Librarian, but I'm not gonna complain. When he's Synchro Summoned, I get to draw a card. Oh, if a monster is Synchro Summoned, as in one other than him. So, oh well. There we are. Freaking finally, we're turn eight and we finally get to deal some damage. Unless that's a 20, yeah. Same rock. And we win. Well, simply. <laughs> Sure, let's go with more altergeists. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we absolutely want to go first when we've got ourselves a back row heavy deck. Oh, this isn't uh, what I was expecting. Robopy. Oh, I get. I thought she had her Altergeist deck, but she, no, she basically mixed her deck with her brother's. Then again, Robopi's deck was just, yeah, it was just uh, Morphtronics since the actual deck he used in the anime was never made, never printed, so... Why did we stand? Oh, he's probably gonna hack into fan. Yeah. Power tool dragon. How dare you have Leo's ace? He's gonna go into life stream dragon, isn't he? That would actually be very dangerous for me because life stream dragon can do a lot of interesting things. Iron Call. Special Summon. Let's see here. Link 3, including a token. Show card list. What synchros can I make again? Only a 6. Bellcat Fighter to summon a token. Mm -hmm. One special summon monster goes attack. You can turn one alter guys to control to your hand. Uh, yeah, let's just go into the Great Fly. Hmm. 
Do 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 do. I really don't like this Phantom Beast deck. Now this, I need, first of all, I need to summon. Yeah, I don't like this deck, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's really not fun. Alright, we'll use one of my own then. Try Cosmo. We're gonna start with summoning the Wicked Witch. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got rid of Morphtronk Sculpin. I guess I could've used Dorothy- no, Dorothy needs attack directly to get something out here, I can't use this. And I don't want to use Dark Destroyer at the moment. I can set this for now. I can use Wicked Witch's effect to protect herself. Alright, it's a quick effect, so I can pay 1,000 life points to... Make her immune to battle destruction if I need to. Smartphone! Turn this card cannot be destroyed by battle of card effects. Excellent. Ooh, Cosmo Forerunner. Now that's a good one. Alright, first things first, however, Cosmo Farm Girl. All right, Dorothy Gale. Activate Farm Girl's effect, where I spend 500 life points to search out a card from my deck. Let's see here. There we are, this one's perfect. Activate her effect to banish herself and bring out Cosmo Slip Rider. And when special summoned, I can destroy one spell or trap card on the field. I have no idea what that is. Power up adapter. Mm, yeah, that wasn't a big deal, if we're completely honest. And now we use Wicked Witch's effect to banish herself. And then we're going to choose either Forerunner or Dark Destroyer. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go with this one just to heal myself a bit. Dark Destroyer. And now I can attack directly with both of these. This might even be lethal damage. Nope. Just a bit short. I don't know how I got that math. Math wrong. 
Alright, Robopi, you have one turn to turn things around. Can you do it? Going by the card art on Cosmo Forerunner, I think Slipperunner is Dorothy's ship. So we'll finish him off with Dorothy's ship. There we go. Oh, uh. Yeah, I think you can see her in there too. Hey, you know what? Let's activate this just for funsies. Just to make her stronger. There we go. 2700 damage and we win. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Eyes deck just to try things out a bit. Unfortunately, yeah, it was nice. Vrains was actually kind of interesting when it first started. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen, Vrains actually kind of cut back on duels in general, the general sense, and focused more on plot progression for a good part of it. And it, I actually thought it worked rather well, personally. Uh, let's activate the field spell then. Uh, sure, let's use this effect here. Special summon it. Here we are. Yeah, there was basically only like two duels in the first four or five episodes. So they did have a much bigger focus and it was on the plot. And the plot was that Playmaker was trying to find out the truth behind his past behind the people who kidnapped him, what they did for, and the person who saved him, but he never even learned their name or even saw their face. So, and so his goal was to use Vrains to try and track them down. He's one of the calmer protagonists, and I guess that's why he uh, he's one of my favorite ones, like you say. Alright, show the card list here. Firewall Exceed Dragon. Exceeds against 500 times whole link rating of monsters linked to this card. Synchro and Fusion Monsters. It's Buck Waver and a Link Monster. Alright, we're gonna go into a Link Monster real quick. Yeah, Link 1 is fine. Clock Wyvern and a Link Monster. Cybers Clock Dragon. Curse you summons in the top card deck to graveyard equal to a link rating of the monsters used for this. Do until the next turn. So it cannot attack. Also, this card gains 1,000 for each card sent. Oh my. Tribute another Cyberus monster. In order to add a level 5 or higher, add Ignister monster for my hand, the ritual. Ah, uh, that's what it wants me to use this card for. Here we 
here. Salmon Great Bailinx. Cyber Synchron. Monster Reborn. Alright, he's gonna go for a Synchro Summon. The Widget Kid. Cybers. Cybers Quantum Dragon. Because all link monster monsters are pwned. Mm -hmm. Okay, you screwed me over, Playmaker. Cosmo again. I'm not sure how actually good this is gonna be, but it should be interesting, right? <laughs> Link Slayer, sign at mine. Claudia. And now he's gonna special summon her back. I could do a number of things, but let's just uh, do this, shall we? Either he'll attack me with multiple monsters and I'll send them back to his deck where they won't be able to be a resource, or he'll summon a big Link monster and I'll banish it. And I guess there is a big risk of breaking in this deck. Transcode Talker. I can't target him, but Bottomless Trap Hole does not target. Sign at back door. this card, special summon a little 5 hour Cosmo monster. We'll use this one. Activate Dark Destroyer to destroy that monster. And I get a free 3,000 damage on him at least. Sign at back door. to attack directly. Battle phase. There we are. Destroyed. Activate. Attack directly with Dorothy. And in doing so, I... Upon dealing damage, I can use her effect to pay 500 life points to grab a card from my deck. Cosmo Town actually would be pretty good. And we're going to get Cosmo Forerunner onto the field. 
That's just enough life points for game. Excellent. Achievement unlocked. Duelist Alliance. What's that again? Unlock all playable avatars. Ooh, nice. Recount rings, user deck. Ah, uh, sure, let's uh, use this one. Hard to believe we're nearing the end now. I think only a couple more streams of this game remain, and then I'll move on to the next one. I got about three games in line for what's going to be next, and... Oh, crap. Not the most ideal opening hand, that's for sure. Alright, use this effect to special summon Donpa. I don't have any for higher cards for him to summon for his effect, but I should be able to synchro summon, so let's do that. Underworld Fighter Balmung. I guess that's good enough for now. If he uses a monster effect or something else, I can just use Ghost Ogre to negate it. Oh my. He actually doesn't have anything. How embarrassing. Looks like we both got terrible opening hands, but then again, at least I have a usable monster. It's not the deck's most ideal monster, but it's here largely for situations like this. Actually, I can use Monster Reborn to steal his monster. Drowning, oh dear. Well, the bad news is I lost Monster, but the good news is so did he. Truth 
could be told I probably should have now even if I'd gone to Folga or something. Drowning isn't something I can fix. out Donpa. Actually, I didn't even use my normal summon for that. I could summon Donpa and then... No, I needed to go with Beat first so I can do a search. We'll use Helmer since an Aqua is a good option for the... We're going into full go here. Alright, activate Donpa. Activate Helmer. Activate Dompa's effect to destroy Ram. Ram Clouder. We're gonna use Helmer to go ahead and summon Wiz. Special summon Fulgo. Aqua, Beast, Spellcaster. Activate the effect of Folgo, yes please. Activate. Since Dino Special is summoned, I can use his effect. I can banish three, up to three of his monsters. So now he can't use those as resources. Unfortunately, I can't OTK him, but this is fine. I can still function here. Cyber's Beacon. Activate effect. Rafale, the champion. Activate beats effect. And activate Rafale as well, please. Yes. Add this to my hand. Bravo. There we go. We'll just activate Recon's effect to destroy whatever this is. Activate Fulgo's effect. I can now draw three cards. Oh my. Uh, we're gonna go into Nightmare Phoenix. Activate Nightmare Phoenix's effect. By discarding a card from my hand, I can destroy one card in Playmaker's back row. Three strikes barrier. Oh my. 
That's a little painful. And of course, he'd draw into boat two of his three cards, wouldn't he? <laughs> this is useless to me. Probably gonna go into a Link monster. Yeah, he is. Yeah, there's nothing I can do anymore. I need it. Game changer. Even if I put, set one of those ghost ogres. Oh, come on, you piece of... I have to set one. I have no choice. Activate Forbidden Lance to reduce its attack stat, and so it'll deal a decent amount of reflect damage when it slams into Ghost Ogre's 1800 defense. There we are. Tribute summon Dinah. Pretty much a last resort, but I don't have a choice. Everything in this row is negated. And we'll place here so that we can negate more in that row if we need to. Yeah, all I can do is place in defense mode. I don't have any level 9 synchros, if I remember right. Yeah. I could replace, potentially replace one Fulgo with one if I need to, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? I was gonna ask, don't I only have two copies of Dyna in my deck? But yeah, that Drowning Mirror Force sent him right back. Oh, come on. Oh, he can resurrect as many times as he wants. Uh, Ghost Ogre. There we go. That, I knew I was saving that for a good reason. I guess I should have placed Joyous Spring. No, I need this because he actually does have Searching in his deck. Res Resonator. Oops, I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Actually, I think I might have enough here. Let's see here. I can go to a Link, but there's a... Don't I have a level 5 Synchro? Actually, I can do this. Zombie, Ghost Warrior, Fiend. We got full go back. And now I can activate his effect to special summon a card from my deck. Uh, Recon. That way I can destroy whatever that face down is. And I can special summon Dino with it. Activate Dino's effect, yes please, and activate Recons. And because I destroyed a card effect, Fulgo's effect works. 
I can also take out three, so let's take out three Cybers monsters. There we are. Activate Fulgo's effect, so I draw three cards. Yeah, ne neither me nor Playmaker got exactly great opening hands, but we were able to keep it nice and even for most of the duel, at least. Let's see, how long have we been going for? A couple hours? Yeah, I guess now is a good time to call it. Well, I've been enjoying my Midolche and my Akashis quite a bit, and Farhire hasn't been half bad either, and Cosmo, I, I'm still tweaking Cosmo, but it is really fun still, so... I hope the rumors that Cosmo's in the next Duel Links box is true, because if they're this fun, I can't wait to see what they can do in that kind of format. Alright, but until next time, thank you for watching, hope you had a good time. I save my VODs for as long as Twitch allows, so if you ever need them, they'll be there. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.